Hello everyone, this is the video for lab 8 of terrain analysis. Um, in this lab, we are going to delineate water sheets of particular area um, in the Salt Lake Valley. So, we are going to assess the flood risk in particular water sheets of Salt Lake Valley particularly in the Red Pivot Creek and we're going to produce a flood risk watershed and this kind of analysis is particularly performed before constructing dams so first of all you have to get the elevation data that has been provided for the lab and uh, you can export this raster simply uh, it's kind of like saving your raster into your geodatabase where you will be working on so it's kind of like copying your copying the elevation data from the provided geodata geodatabase to your geodatabase and you will move on working on with the one that you have in your geodatabase so there are so many steps and I will be performing the steps one by one you can just follow these and uh, you can also get all those these steps directed in the PDF file so the very first we are using this fill tool it helps us to fill particular null values that might be found in the elevation data so it's it's a kind of a rectification process of filling out those null uh, values then we have to find out the flow direction and we will use the uh, fill elevation as the input raster and you can see the flow directions like if a water drop falls in any of these places where the, where the w drop of water will move on and uh, these uh, numbers are actually indicating particular directions if you search on Google like what are the flow directions number um, mean so you'll find out that uh, particularly one means northeast and two means southwest and so on I just I told you randomly that these are not correct actually you can search in Google then we're gonna calculate the flow accumulation raster using this tool and you can see that we are seeing some streams already but they are not quite much visible to us till now to make this visible we have to use that condition tool and uh, the condition from the special analyze tool the input will be our flow accumulation and we will make a new raster that will contain only the values that are greater than 1500 and the value can be a uh, higher or lower so you have to decide the value pick that particular value that makes all your stream visible to your eyes so in this case 15,000 works works the best if you now uncheck the others you will be able to see that yes the Yes, the streams are now showing. So this is the particularly the Red Beard Creek, and uh, our deliverable one is to make the feature of this Red Beard Creek. Till now, it is in raster format. We have to convert these raster streams to a vector shape files. I mean polylines. First of all, you have to perform this stream order process.
as you can see that there are four orders in the streams and they have separate colors and we will convert these streams to feature this will be converted into vector polylines the flow direction will be the direction raster one of the deliverables is to get that particular red pit creek and also the flood risk assessment map for the, the particular watershed uh, underlying the red pit creek for now we are trying to get only this red bit creek and we can just get rid of the others because these are not required for our deliverable so we'll clip only the parts of the red bit creek and delete the rest so now after deleting all this we'll be left with only two polylines that that makes our red bit quick and we have to run the dissolve tool to merge these polylines into one because afterwards we will be performing the next tasks by taking this red bit quick shape file You can uncheck the, uncheck the create multi-part multi features. Now if you see there is only one line and only one attribute. And before that there are two. Now you can see that it only has one. Now we will move on to calculating the cost, the flood risk. For that you have to calculate the aspect from the elevation data that we corrected by filling. You can see that there is an error showing. So remember to save the edits from here and then run your process. Yes, uh, this time you can see that the aspect raster has generated. The false raster will be the stream order. We're gonna need this um, this raster that we're gonna generate from the setnal tool and from this flat value in our next step of calculating the flood risk. Now we're going to use this distance accumulation tool for our next step. Like the 
there were other tools previously instead of this distance accumulation tool that were like the path distance or the Euclidean uh, distance or cost distance were used earlier but now the distance accumulation actually is used instead of those tools So this kind of tells you the uh, creates a raster that shows you the distance of the surrounding areas from the creek. And uh, we are simply multiplying a particular value to convert the values from degrees to radian. because now at this time the values that we are seeing on the symbology or in the rasters are in in degrees unit where we have to convert these units into radian for our next task so that's where we are multiplying it with 0.0174 Okay, the raster is now generated and we will do the same for the set null aspect raster that was also in degrees and now we are converting it into radian okay now and it's we're done with it after that we have to move on to our next task of calculating the cost and just you can just copy that equation from the PDF file and paste it in the raster calculator tool from here the aspect is the set null aspect raster that we converted into radian and the direction is the direction of red butte so you can just replace this aspect and direction with the aspect and direction raster that we have in radians So this will be our cost raster. The value ranges from minus one to plus one. Now we have we need another raster using this is null tool. Then we are going to need this condition tool from the special analyst. And the reasons that we are doing this have been already described in the PDF. So try to follow the description from the PDF file. I'm trying to work through the process for you guys okay at first it 
it didn't successfully it wasn't successfully generated but now you can see I just ran it again and this time it worked so if even if it uh, doesn't work you yeah, don't get panic you can just try again and it will work we're gonna use the raster calculator to add one to this conditional cause that we created just now so that we don't get negative values afterwards in the next process and also uncheck this before moving into the next step now that you have all this calculated you can now calculate the actual flood risk raster from here provide the input raster as the dissolved polygon of Red Butte Creek the input surface will be the elevation and the cost raster is the conditional cost raster that you just generated so this is the, the flood risk raster that you just calculated now the value ranges from 0 to 519 now we're gonna calculate the or get the watershed for this particular creek and you can see that the, yes this is the watershed that is showing for this particular creek and now we are moving on to creating our very first deliverable that is the flood risk cost or the flood risk raster for this particular watershed of Red Butte so for that we are gonna just extract this particular watershed area from the cost or risk uh, flood risk raster that we generated so you can see that yes we got the raster for only this part So you can change the symbology according to your need and uh, try to provide your answer and the, the deliverable one is to get the map of the Red Butte Creek and the flood, flood risk calculated for the watershed of this Red Butte. You can see that yes we have the values from 0 to 519 for this particular watershed and you can use this particular symbology to show that yes uh, what is the at least what is the uh, flood risk for this creek and also uh, describe some additional um, data that might help it to increase the accuracy of the analysis and also um, the last question you can see um, why we have chosen this particular watershed to perform our analysis and uh, this says that what areas will be affected for the flood that might occur. Thanks.